What's going on guys? Today we have got another update on Splitgate 2, the new sequel coming in the Splitgate franchise. A couple weeks back I released a video talking about the announcement of it, how excited I was and how I would keep you guys updated on all the news coming out via my channel. Well, we have got our first look at some gameplay today. So we're going to sit down, we're going to watch this. I think it's a five minute video about the gameplay so we can get a real feel for Splitgate and see how excited we should be about it coming back to join us. Right, so this was the trailer uploaded onto the Splitgate um youtube channel official gameplay reveal of split gate 2 it's about four and a half minutes we're gonna sit down we're gonna watch it we'll pause it when we need to to get a bit of an idea of what we're in for i got one. Oh, they're both they're both go on the point one shot oh he dropped i killed no I killed two. way I got it. I it looks good oh it's timmy scum methods so it looks like they partnered with Optic to do this, as well as some other content creators. Outlook on a good, fun arena shooter. It kind of builds on what Splitgate One was. It's got your portals. DMR, the portals look really cool. The action packed, fast paced, like the movement and adding that slide mechanic sort of. Oh, that slide looks clean. It's no longer just portaling and gunplay. It's okay. actions combined oh. with utility the abilities really the factions are the biggest thing uh, okay because of their passives and ability that you so use. factions have passives okay arrows fast agile portal masters okay so these were the people this looks like it might be like the finals like i thought 5 8 p.m fast movement you gotta run around you're porting behind people shooting them killing them go back to your portal reset pop a stem this role is mainly like the entry fragging role and I would say okay. that's more geared towards the mechanically skilled players. Yeah, so arrows yeah, are going to be the sweaty players. Also increases the pacing. Oh I'm my god. Zip in and also do those portal, 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 portal. You reload faster, combine that with the sprinter, and you're just assassinating people really quickly. Oh my it's just god. Really nice because the. No, that's nuts. Look how much faster he gets when he pops it here. Yeah. Right, I can't too far. Movement. You got really skilled players. Using that rush ability also look how much faster he gets oh my god that's insane portal, 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 portal. You reload faster combine that with the sprinter and faster reload and run really it oh my god really nice people who get good with that then abilities are going to be nuts by the way it's like i'm a fragger you know what i mean like i'm going for kills i'm moving around the map and cool. I'm they're going to be the people you hate having as teammates because they're just going to be kill horse that's fine healer and spotters meriden Hey, what you got? Timmy's on point right now. Oh, wall hacks, the nice. Second Meridian is way more appealing, in my opinion, to support players because this is what Hori will play. This is because it's balanced. Teammates survive that you can kind of support them and keep them up, but also get kills at the same time. Oh my goodness! Like I would use my hyper sight to see when people are flanking, and it kind of just detects people behind walls. Hyper sight is what they're calling it. Just the info by itself. Oh my it's god, you get a bunch of info. The ability to frag out yourself, which is nice. I think that the time dome is actually one of the best gadgets. In the time game. dome? It's really useful anytime, really, you're in a gunfight with anybody. You could use it for yourself selfishly by just throwing it on the ground and standing in it and being able to shoot faster, you reload faster, you move faster. Oh my There's god, if you. No downsides. And if the enemy ends up stepping into it, they have the reverse effects of that. Oh! Which is Sorry. What? So you throw a time down time dome down you get a buff to reload speed and rate of fire and if anyone comes into it they reload slower and shoot slower am i understanding that right and standing in it and being able to shoot faster you reload faster you move faster oh you move faster as well and if the enemy ends up stepping into it they have the reverse effects of that which is obviously huge that's crazy defenders and fraggers sabraska Hey, so what are your abilities then? The other two seem really good. Dude, the grenades are so good. I just threw two a point, got two with the nades. Obviously, portals are big, but Sabrask, I feel like, is the faction that you can get away with uh, the most not using the portals. Okay. Not as many movement perks compared to the it's other the dad factions, class. But with all the abilities and the guns, you have a lot of versatility. 
You have the smart wall, which is basically a pop-up shield. This that is the Daclos. Enemy bullets from your enemy, depending on where you place it. But you can shoot through it if you place it down and you're getting shot in cool. the back. You can similar then go to the Phantom the Wall and next to fine. Smart wall, and pairing the wall with the sticky grenades. I can walk in any room in any building and wall off one area, and then grenade a certain doorway and hold down. This oh, wall. this is massive so dad if build. You can get to a power position on the map. The smart wall was like a necessity. I don't have the utility to stay on point. So I, think I have a healing grenade. I can just put it on site yeah. with somebody. I think, I think you put the shield down, put the heal grenade, and then you guys just play it off of each other. And I can just play it the It looks game. good. For me, after playing Split Gate 2, I'm looking forward to... The, the, the factions the seem like they're, they're designed for certain players on, on each end, power rather power than how well they work maps. together, I think. I mean, the big thing is... It looks really good. I like the portal sequel. designs. It still holds the core fundamental values of Splitgate. So the still movement still carryover it's still looks so fun. Away from the original game, but it still has that fast-paced arena shooter feel that brings good. a lot of people back. Oh. This, you can spawn in, hit some shots. Unreal Engine 5 is so I'm good, man. People see it. I think they're going to like it a lot. Timmy, the, the plays they've got here are so good. Big steal, big steal. Okay, that's so awesome. August 14th. Watch it live. I assume that's a bigger reveal with more actual gameplay. When's that? That's a couple of days. I might react to that. Wow. Okay, so we have got. P, where they're at. Just the info by itself. It's we've got the arrows. So they are. People, shooting them, they're they're, they're all about run and gun. They're very fast. They're very powerful. They've got this sprinter ability, I think they called it, which lets you reload faster, uh, move faster. That He's seems dead. nuts. Um, these are your absolute fraggers. These are the people who want a simple abilities that let them be better. Um, they're probably going to be very strong, and people who are good with them are going to be borderline untouchable. I'm telling you that now. That's where the movement kids will go. Then you've got, who are the other ones? Meridian, the healers and the spotters. They are, I might play these guys with like the time dome. That seems really interesting. Gives you the ability to heal your teammates. They're, what do they call it? Hyper sight. That looks really good. Being able to see where people are through walls is one thing, but also the fact that it's such how much HP they're on as well is huge. Because if you're playing solo and you pop that and you see there's a person on the other side of the wall, you're going to chal it. But if you also know they're weaker than you HP-wise, you're like, oh, I'm definitely challing that. That's huge. Um, that time dome seems nuts. I don't know if that's tied directly to Meridian or if the person who was playing Meridian used the time dome and just thought that that worked really well together. I f I'm not sure. But the time dome ability seems insane. And then you had Sabraska. Uh, da, 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 da. The this is the dad class. I said Horry's gonna play as Meridian. Horry might play as these guys. This is the absolute dad class. Um, you don't need to worry about portaling. Literally one of the talking points. Um, you get a portable wall so that if you don't know how to use the map, you can just drop something in front of you to protect yourself, and you get a nice big grenade. This is an absolute dad class. Um, I can see these accidentally being too powerful at launch um until that people get used to the abilities of the other classes and catch up but game looks gorgeous i'm very very excited for it and i cannot wait to see where they take this going forward um but that's been it from me today don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in a bit